This is a letter from John R. Brooks, uh, who at that time was the Assistant Clinical Professor of Surgery at the Peter Ben Brigham Hospital. It's dated July 9, 1963. And it is uh, addressed to an Assistant Clinical Professor of Surgery at the Peter Ben Brigham Hospital in the year 2013. And it starts with a poem, which he entitled, An Ode to the Brigham. We'll go to sleep for 50 years and then return to see you. As slumber steals our hearts away, for you we have no fears. You'll flourish then, new honors gain, your gospel will spread far, as sons and daughters from your fold cross o'er the ranging main. Young Peter now, old Peter then, if by human years we gauge, but surely you will not grow old like women and like men. There's something strong and something fine about the Brigham spirit. We know that when the years are up, she'll almost be divine. Will the next 50 years produce as much change in medicine as the last? What will the erosion of time foster? Will the Brigham contributions to medicine be as varied and as profound in the next 50 years as they have been in the past? I think so, for the Brigham lives in the fertile soil that nourishes Harvard Medical School. One can only guess as to what new advances, advances will exist in 2013. 1. I prophesy the cure for cancer will not yet be found. 2. I envision that the transplantation of pancreatic islet cell tissue will serve a useful role in prolonging the life of certain diabetics. 3. I envision that liver transplantation will be offered certain patients with advanced cirrhosis. 4. Surely the role of many new trace metals in health and disease will be better understood. 5. Replacement for parathormone will be obtainable. 6. The whole field of autoimmune diseases will be much clearer. 7. A much more orderly understanding of the relationships of various diseases in the endocrine systems of the body and relationship to the pituitary will be known. 8. Duodenal ulcer will still be present, as will gastric ulcer. The etiology of both of these will not be known. 9. Many more advances in the correction of congenital defects will have been made. 10. Orthopedics and the treatment of fracture and trauma will be an ever-burgeoning subject and will consume more and more of a, a common role in surgery in general. 11. Gallstones will still exist to afford pleasure to the general surgeon. Appendicitis will still be present, and herniorphy, that all-important and wonderful teaching device, will still exist. More than this, what can one say? I envision that the profession of, profession of medicine will have returned to its rightful role in the eyes of college graduates, more of whom will enter the profession as they did a generation ago. And the role of Harvard Medical School, and the Peter Med Brigham Hospital in particular, will be more important than ever in the 21st century in producing the nation's finest doctors. Humbly submitted, John R. Brooks.